Here they are folks, the AirPod Pro. Hot on the heels of the Amazon Echo Buds, and uh, man, I think these guys went from credible rumor to actual product on the shelf in like three weeks from Apple. When does that ever happen? I feel like these are a legitimately big deal for Apple. This is the first time since they've been making earbuds that they got away from the actual earbud style and went with an in-ear. Right off the bat, it's going to improve sound quality, but they also toss noise canceling in there, something that they've never done before. Sure, they've got the Beats brand and access to their noise canceling technology, but this is a new one for Apple, so there's a lot of big expectations around these. Let's unbox these quickly, and I do mean quickly because we have a lot to cover. So it's very similar to the AirPods, uh, standard AirPods or AirPod 2, whatever you want to call them. AirPods. Uh, here's the case. You can tell right away that's a little bit different. Uh, underneath, you'll find a lightning cable, not USB-C. We've heard about that. And then we've got some uh, other ear tips available in this little packaging. Now here we have the original AirPods. I think on the whole is a little bit larger, but it's definitely a different shape as the one goes with it. So if you pull out one of the original AirPods, you know what those look like, but it's great for reference. So the little golf tee design has definitely gotten shorter. It's not quite half as short, uh, but it's a noticeable, noticeable difference. And then aside from that, other than you know, the fact that it's uh, not an earbud, it has a silver ear tip, you can pop this right off. Um, now you don't have to fit it over a little nubbin like you do a lot of other buds, it just magnetically clasps uh, in place. And uh, this is not going to come off in your ears, you don't have to worry about that. You really have to pull it off to, uh, to get it off. Um, and then yeah, looking around the earbud, we see some microphones. Um, and that's really about it from an aesthetic point of view. The case is what I expected, nice magnetic snap. time, five hours of uh, listening time more or less, depending on the volume, three and a half hours of talk time, and about five minutes will get you an hour of uh, listening time for talk time. Also, this is a wireless charging case. You don't have to pay extra for that, and you shouldn't because these cost too much. Get these set up just like any other AirPods. You just open the case. It should be immediately detected by your iOS device. You press the next. Uh, if they've been paired to something else, you might have to press on the back is I will here so we do that and it will be the process uh, once it's connected it's gonna you know tell you about some things you can do with the AirPods uh, it actually describes media control so you basically squeeze uh, the end of either one of these guys a uh, long squeeze will turn on the noise canceling or turn on the transparency mode Show you once you are connected, if you open this guy up, it's going to give you a battery status both for the case and for the AirPods. Itself. So, how about that? Noise well, let me recap the tale for the I first put in the right bud, and then I hear a little tone, and then actually I can hear some sound being piped in, and then I put in the other bud, and all of a sudden, noise is shut out. Uh, and I was immediately impressed because there's something that happens when first experience noise canceling, really quality noise canceling. There's kind of a suck out, a little bit of a pressure change going on. There's, it's kind of forceful, but there's a high level of effectiveness to it. So I ran right outside and started getting myself in a noisy situation. I was kind of like, you know, there's really high. And from what I could tell, just purely subjectively, it was really, really good. So I grabbed the Sony WF-1000 XM3 True Wireless Earbuds those have some of the best noise canceling in the market for an earbud, and I did an A-B comparison, and I gotta tell you, it's, it's they're on par. It's a head-to-head -head race between the two, which totally shocked me. I didn't expect Apple to get noise canceling down so well. The only thing left for me to do at this point is hop on a plane, and if I could, I could do that right now, because if there was a true test of noise canceling on a plane, or a jet engine, how much of that can it shut out, and how good does the audio sound uh, while it's one of these days, I will do exactly that. But I gotta tell you, for everyday use, the noise canceling on this is fantastic. Light up your music, and you're not gonna hear any of your coworkers doing anything. You are locked into your own little world, everything else is shut up. Now, of course, on the opposite side,
side of noise canceling is passive. Sometimes you actually want to hear what's going on. Sometimes you speak to somebody, or you don't want to get mowed down by a bus. This is also very effective. It brings things in in a very natural way. A lot like the solo pro competes. It doesn't sound very digitized. It sounds very natural, um, and I love that as well. So another win for the Apple on that. Oh, hey, look, we're outside. Yeah, I decided to step out to the streets of Portland in order to test the call quality of the new AirPods Pro. So what we're going to do, we're going to wait for a light rail train or a bus to come by and a pretty loud background noise and see just how much of that bleeds through and how much gets canceled out by the earbuds. And then we're going to try the same thing with the Sony True Wireless earbuds as well, make a comparison. What you're going to hear when we do that is an audio recording of that call from the other phone. All right, so we got a bus coming and I expect it to be really loud. So the feedback I got from the other end of that call was that the call quality just wasn't that great. So to eliminate the cell signal aspect, we're recording this with the voice recorder on the iPhone. And I'll let you be the judge of whether it's actually better or not. Again, this is the AirPod Pro recording on a voice recorder on the iPhone right next to a loud so as you can hear for yourself, the AirPods Pro canceled out way more background noise than the Sony's did, uh, and in general had a better overall call quality sound. Now let's talk about sound quality, and I gotta be honest with you, I was ready to jump all over these things because Apple just hasn't made a really great sounding part. And again, they've never had an actual in-ear headphone either. So I was expecting an improvement in the bass response, but overall, I didn't expect to hear a lot of detail of what have you. I gotta tell you, I am super impressed. Uh, the bass response is quality. And yeah, some of that comes from the fact that it's getting really good seal. But I listened to some of my favorite tracks, and uh, it's not booming bass. It's not especially deep bass, but it is rich enough to be satisfying. And it's very tuneful. Like I listened to one of my favorite tracks in Tesco. Definitely more than uh, just enough of a punch 